Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be hacking a bank. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna be doing hack the box retired machine called bank. If you guys are ready for some fun, let's jump into it. And please remember to like, subscribe and share. I really appreciate it. Let's keep growing and let's jump into it. Alrighty then folks, so I just booted up the bank machine. So you guys, if you guys are gonna follow along, I'm sure you're watching this to follow along through this walkthrough. And it's called Bank and it's an easy Linux machine. I haven't done this one. A friend of mine was telling me about it and uh, I started it yesterday and it was really, really slow. So I was like, let's give this thing a break, come back in the morning and give it a jingle. So here we are. So I think my IP did change. So my IP address is 10 129 uh, 29 200. That's a, that's a cool IP address. So I already connected to my VPN. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab and make this bigger. And there's a few things. I'm, I always like to test the uh, IP address to make sure it's reachable. And it is. So I'm able to ping it. And I like to do everything like this. Maybe it's not best practice, but it's just a way I like to do it. So let me go ahead and CD to bank. So I have my Nmap scan. So before we do that, let me go ahead and just nano. Let me go ahead and nano Etsy host. So we can put that IP address in here. So, and we'll get to this in a second. So let me just go ahead and remove all of this. And like I said, I did start it yesterday and it was really, really slow. So in here, I, I wanna show you how I got these uh, DNS names. So bank.hackthebox or HTB is the original hack the box or is the original DNS name. And then Chris, then www, then ns. So we're going to do a dig command, which is like ns lookup or something like that in Windows. And we can just go ahead and just do a control X here, Y, and enter. So now let's just go ahead and see if we can ping bank.htb. Uh, bank okay, cool. It's pinging. Awesome. So we are reaching it, we're able to uh, see it and all that stuff. So now let's just go ahead and cat bank uh, uh, bank.txt. I don't have it. Oh, because it's capital. Sorry, one second. Let me cat bank.txt. So what do we have here? See, this is my IP address, I ran the scan. I think that's the same IP address if I'm not mistaken. And then we can see here we have port uh, 22, which is SSH, 53. So this is why I did that dig command because DNS is running and port 80 and that's pretty much it, right? So what we can do really quick is just do a quick, let me just go ahead and do this really quick. And I'm just gonna copy and paste from my notes. So it's quicker and I don't have to waste any time. So let's go ahead and do that. So dig, and we're gonna go ahead and dig uh, bank.htb at the IP address, right? So we have ns right here. We have www right here. We have chris right here and ns right here. So these are why I put all these in here just for the future. Who knows? I didn't know what was going on. So I like to be safe and put everything in there. All right, so we just made the host file. We made sure everything is good to go. Now let's just go ahead and see if we can browse out to bank.htb, http, bank.htb, uh-oh. All right, it's fine, let's continue. We trust Hack the Box. All right, so Hack the Box Bank. There's not anything really here, to be honest, like there's you know, there's no log, uh, there's no like register to just like this. So for an example, if I just put pat at pat.com and just put password or something, it just says wrong credentials. So what I wanna do now, and this is what I started yesterday, is I wanna start doing a uh, go buster. So let's just see go buster and right here. So I'm just gonna actually take this out. And so what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna actually put a thread on here, T100, okay? So what am I doing here? I wanna explain this. GoBuster is a directory brute forcer on 
uh, bank that hack the box. And I want to use the word list, directory list 2.3 medium, and then I want to put a threshold, a thread of uh, 100. Okay, so this is going to go out and do its thing, and it's going to find all the different directories. Uh, it's going to start enumerating those directories. Okay, so this is where I stopped yesterday, and this is where I went really, really slow. Hopefully, this speeds up this morning. And uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and just pause it and resume once this is done and i'll let you guys know how long it took so you guys understand how long it's gonna take for you to wait so let's see how long it takes okay so that was pretty quick that took i think what a couple minutes two three minutes or so so we're finished so what do we have here the, the interesting thing for me it says balance transfer so i'm going to go ahead and just copy this directory and i want to go back to my browser and Oh, I guess I, uh, I don't know what happened there, but that's fine. Let's go here and let's go ahead and just put in bank transfer, that directory. Oh, balance transfer, sorry. Oh, what the hell is it? Okay, so I see what's going on. So let's go ahead and click on size. And we have this file here that is different from all the other files. Like we have a lot of these sizes, 583. So the first one here, we organized it by size, and then we can see we can download this file. So let's go ahead and download this file, and we're gonna go ahead and cat this file out to see what's in it. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this for now. And that's in my download. So what I wanna do is I wanna cat in right there. I think that's it. Cool. So this is the file that we want to cat and we have some user information in here. So we have Chris and this is why that maybe that uh, that name server or that DNS was in there. I don't know. Maybe it was a rabbit hole. But anyhow, now we have some credentials maybe to log in. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's come back up here. Let's go back one or back two. And now let's go ahead and use Chris's credentials and then we have his password here so let's go ahead and copy this and then come over and paste it and submit the query cool so yeah that's awesome he has a dollar and 33 cents or something like that I don't know all right so let's see what's that what, what, what's happening here we have dashboard we have support let's click on support okay we have my tickets and it looks like we can upload a file. Okay, I see where we're going here. So let's see if there's anything, let's inspect this. See if there's anything in here that looks fancy. Uh, do, 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 nothing really here, logo. I'm just skimming through the page. Uh, new ticket, so new ticket. Okay, right, oh, right here, what is this? Is this Debug, I added the file extension .htb to execute as PHP for debugging purposes only. Debug. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, we cannot upload a PHP. So like when we go to, I'll show you guys that in a second. We have to name the file .htb, but we're gonna do it both ways just to see if we get an error. Because I wanna see for myself just in case other folks are trying to do this and they don't see this and they get an error because they will go some jump in some steps. All right, so let's let's give that a jingle. All right, so let's come out. Let, I want to leave that there. Let's come out to where is my uh, my online reverse shells. And this is all good. And but we're, we're going to do a PHP. So let's go ahead and do PHP pen test monkey. All right, so I wanna make this a little bigger so you guys can see. So what are we doing here? We do an IP and port. So my IP address for my Hack the Box VPN is 10.10.14.238. So that is my IP address. I wanna do port Elite Hacker 1337. And this is gonna be the listener that we're gonna be using in a second. And this is the, this is the script, okay? So what I wanna do is just copy this script and then what I want to do is just make, I want to nano, um, uh, I want to put 1337.php, 
okay? And now I'm just gonna throw this in here. Let's paste that here. Let's do control X, Y, enter. Okay, so now if we do an LS, we have that file in this directory. So now what we're gonna do is browse out to that and see if we can upload that. But before we, we do that, we have to do netcat nc can see. All right, so let's just do that and let's listen in on that port for now. And now let's go back to our thing. Let's just put um, hacking the bank. Oh, there we go. And thanks for watching. Okay, so now let's go ahead and select the file. And let's wait patiently. Choose file. And then we're right in that directory. So we have PHP. Okay, but remember, this should error out if I understand this correctly. So we submit. Whoops, you cannot upload this. Okay, and I did this on spite. I did this on purpose, just in case you guys do that as well. So now what I want to do is do it into an HTB because that's what they said to do. And let's see if we get a success there. So let's go ahead and minimize this for now. I want to go ahead and kill this for a second. And I want to do, uh, I want to actually, whoops, I'm moving too fast. Let me go ahead and move uh, 1337 to 1337.htb. Okay. Now we can do ls. Now let's see if we can do the netcat and see if we can upload this file and see if we can get a shell. Okay, so let's just put next try. Thanks. And then I want to go ahead and select that HTB now. And let's see if we can submit this success. All right, so that was good. So now we are success. Your ticket has been created successfully. Now we have our ticket here. So it's probably we probably have to submit it. Yeah. So let's come back here. We have to click here and not actually send it to the server. So now we could probably now we have a shell. You see that? Hopefully that was uh, pretty easy to follow. All right. So then I'm just going to do a little cheat sheet. This Python, I never I, I never write this correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and cheat. So now I can do an LS. We can go to for an example. We know it's what Chris. Let's just do CD home. Whoops. What happened? cd slash home and do an ls in here we can cd to chris ls we have this user.txt user.txt and now we have the user flag okay so that was the first flag here so let's go ahead and just submit this so i don't forget let's copy that come back to here and we can submit the first flag bada bing bada boom that was pretty cool and I want to I want to express something about let's go ahead and just put uh, it's pretty easy. I want to express something about easy machines when this was created. I think this was created in 2017 and we're in 2025. So that's what eight years ago, right? Easy back then was pretty straightforward. Easy. Easy today is more like a medium back then. So I just want to elaborate on that because their the difficulty levels today are so much different than many years ago because i remember i think the first machine i did was granny or grandpa and then i did lame and then lame was like you know just like the name implies right lame it was really really simple you, you just pretty much use metasploit and you have the whole box right so it was pretty 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 easy you know, probably took maybe 10 minutes or something like that to do, maybe even shorter. But now an easy machine can take some time, maybe an hour or so. But anyhow, let's go ahead and see if we can get root now. And what I want to do, let's do who am I? So we're dub 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 uh, data. Okay, so now what I want to do, let's see if we can do uh, trying to think. All right. I want to go ahead and just run a command really quick is so i'm going to try to find the permissions let's see see if we can get some uh some stuff cooking let's give this a second i just you know this is just from my notes i can just throw this in here and let's see what we get 
All right, so let's see if anything points out. Can't really see my damn microphone. All right, emergency. Let's see what's cooking in here. Let's go ahead and copy this for a second. And let's run that. Let's come all the way back down and run that really quick. Whoops, I think I, uh, whoops. Yep, I messed that up, hold on. Let's uh, go ahead and just do dot, okay? And let's run it. All right, so what happened? Can't see. All right, so let's go ahead and just do this really quick. And all right, so now LS, who am I? Whoa, so I'm root already? All right, that was, <laughs> that was pretty easy. All right, so let's CD root. And then it's probably gonna be root.txt. Oh, that was pretty simple. All right, so all right, let's copy this. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. So, so pretty much we just pwned it. All right, cool. So let me explain that little last part. Uh, let's come back here. So pretty much we found this file, right? We found this file named emergency. And it's located, it was located in hack the box slash bin directory. So when we ran for the permissions, we can see that this has permissions, you know, whatever, 32 executable file. And we, you know, we pretty much try to run that directly and we got root. And uh, that was pretty much the final step. That was, that was pretty straightforward. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys found this informative. If you have any questions about the steps that I did, leave it in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching this and we hacked the bank today. Don't hack your real bank, but hack, hack the box bank. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.